space between a sneak peek at this beautiful library that's coming along so well. And also, too, um, we have our public staff and college staff, and we want an opportunity to get everyone together to start the teamwork and collaboration, um, because this is going to be a fantastic partnership. Our community is going to benefit in so many ways. So we wanted this as an opportunity to get together and start start working on, on collaboration and um, have an opportunity to take a sharpie and write your note on the floor. So so thank you all for coming. I am going to introduce Dr. Kennedy with at St. Petersburg College. And he's going to say the words. Well, thanks for coming. This is really kind of a historic and a long-awaited moment. I think we've started discussions about a joint use library way back when, uh, when someone else was president, uh, Ronald Reagan, I think. <laughs> it was really seriously that long ago. Um, but it's not because of anybody not wanting to work with each other. This has been probably the best collaboration I've ever had on both sides. Uh, everybody wanting to achieve the same goals on behalf of the community. Uh, Leo has done a fantastic yes. job. I am so pleased. He's, and uh, partway through the process, I had thought that you know being an architect would be kind of fun, and I think I made a comment to Leo. You know, I'm not so sure. I mean, he, so I mean, he really soldiered through lots of changes and back and forth, and a lot of budget constraints that impinged on our original design, but. He is a creative guy, and he came up with uh, a great design. And then our contractors, creative contractors, have been great to work with. Josh has been outstanding, and Jeff, who's been leading the construction on the campus. So, and this is probably not an easy place to work. You know, we've got students coming in and out, and all that kind of stuff. But they've done a great job. So uh, with that, welcome, everybody. Uh, Mayor, would you like to say a word or two? I'm sorry to put you on the spot. I know you're a man of few words. <laughs> Especially with the beeping going on. Yeah. Now, on behalf of the city of Clearwater and my colleague Bob Conduct and Hoyt Hamilton and Doreen Caudell and Bill Johnson and our city manager Bill Horn, we're just so excited to have this opportunity. The president was Dr. Cockrell. That's, that's how many years we go back you know, talking about this. And Ken Burke was actually yes. the chairman yeah. of the Board of Trustees. So I was talking to him the other day and saying he is so excited about being able to have this facility because we know it's worked in St. Petersburg and in Seminole and now the people of Clearwater will have that same opportunity to work with college students and college students will get to be part of the community itself also. So we're looking forward to the official ribbon cutting. I was talking with Dr. Williams last week and she's going to wear a bow tie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> as a remembrance. Anyway, thank you all for letting us partner with you. We look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.